Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be discussing The Flash 803, which aired tonight when I'm recording this. If you haven't seen the episode, click off now, go watch it, and come back. <laughs> um, so yeah, enjoy this video. Uh, so the episode started off pretty much right after 802, where it ended with Barry saying Injustice and the ending. Um, it's the keyword Injustice is a protocol that Barry, Black Lightning, Kara, uh, Clark... John, Sarah, and at the time, Kate, all made to, in case one of them went bad, they would follow the protocol, which is, if they have powers, they take them away. If it's something else, I don't, we don't really know what to do, like for Sarah or, at the time, Kate, I guess now it's Ryan, but if it were to be people without powers, they didn't really say what they do, but I'd assume probably kill them <laughs> or something along those lines. Um... But, yeah, so, Justin mentioned it was a one-way trip. For Barry, it's taking away his powers, as I said. Barry wants Justin to take away his powers. They all made an oath to do that, to where if one of them went evil, they would do that, to protect the world. Because all of them were too powerful to not do that. Um, Justin mentioned Kara, John, Sarah, that all of them should be there to talk about this. Obviously, they couldn't be there. And the reason why... Barry didn't call them and just back lightning was because they all paired up. Um, for if one member went rogue, they would have w at least one member to call and they would have to do it. Instead of calling everyone in or whatever, it just take one member um, to replace them while that member is out um, to protect the world and all that. For this case, Barry, it was back lightning, which kind of makes sense if you really think about it. <laughs> um... So, yeah, that's why Black Lightning was there, and it really fit in very well. Um, off screen, it mentioned that the Justice League, they didn't say Justice League, but they fought um, Felix Faust, who is a comic book Justice League villain. I don't know entirely about him, but he was mentioned, he's from the comics, and uh, yeah. Brady mentioned that Joe died in a zero men memory of it to Jefferson. Again, we knew that from 802. Um, but it added more to the scene. Uh, Justin mentioned that if Barry's powers are gone, they'll be gone forever. Because he's splitting the speed force away from his cells. So it won't be a part of him at all. Now, if you look back at season 2 when he lost his speed, or season 6, going to 7... It's like going to be with 6 and 7. Barry lost the speed force. He didn't, like... It wasn't like season two where he still has Speed Force in him. If Jefferson fully took away Barry's power, he would be splitting the Speed Force away from him, like, he, like I said, like he said in the show. And it'd be like season six or seven all over again with him losing his speed, not getting it back, all that. And obviously Barry wouldn't want to get it back if this is the cause of it. Um, Despo couldn't find Barry. I think we knew that from the end of two. He didn't know where he went. He still couldn't find him, even with his powers. Um, because it's a hall of justice outside of the city, and Despero, I'm assuming, is only looking in the city. Um, so yeah, Cecil, Cecil wants to be there for Barry, even though he acted all out, I'm quoting that from the show, about Joe's death, not knowing about it from 802. Iris believes Despero is the evil one here, and Barry's being framed, which I think is good that majority of the episode was Iris looking into that, instead of it just being like two minutes, <laughs> um, which it did come up something of it, so I'm glad that was the case of it. We learned more about Joe's death, and we actually saw the death scene this time. Joe died falling onto train tracks, and he got hit by a really fast train, and he died. I don't know entirely how I feel about that. I mean, it's Joe, so I feel sad, but at the same time, that kind of death... I don't know. And I saw some people on Twitter saying he wouldn't just, he wouldn't be that unsafe. Normally people who are safe tend to walk on, you know, the platform near train tracks and they fall. It happens. Even the, sh the in the show, it said that these accidents happen a majority of the time just because it's an accident. Like you can't really do anything about it. Um, so again, I don't know how I feel about that death entirely. Maybe it's just not set in, but yeah, <laughs> that happened. Um, where Joe... Iris played the security footage, and it showed that Joe was there one second, and then gone the next. 
I think that was only for Iris. Because if we look back, if you pause it exactly with the other camera scene showing Joe's death, it doesn't show that he wasn't there. Um, so, yeah. Cecile doesn't want Iris to really look into it because she wants to... Cecile wants to focus on Jenna and, you know, moving past Joe. Iris wants to dig all that back up again. It made sense. And Lager went to go help Iris look for this, and so they went. Um, Cecile mentioned that she could be able to find Barry faster than Despero because of the connection that she had to Barry that Despero doesn't, even though Despero's powers triumph Cecile's. Or at least sometimes, um, it, it you know it still causes the seal to find Barry quicker. So that's what was using that. Um, Iris went up to the tracks where Joe died, and she saw like particles on the tracks that no one else saw, just her, and it was linked to her time sickness. Which I'm glad that's this is being used for something, and it's not being, you know, dragged out forever long. Um, Cecile went to go get Top, or Dylan, or whatever her name is. Um, and Top knows about Joe's death, which again, confirms the fact that I said in my last video about Joe's death, or two videos ago, whatever, that it, this isn't mind fucking Barry. This, this is the entire world. That some This is the timeline that's being altered. This is timeline being messed up with, like I said. Because the entire world believes it. If that's what was my book and Barry about Joe's death, that means the entire world would be believing something that's not true. No, that's not the case. It's just that Barry's speed is so much faster than the timeline. When it changes, he doesn't change to it. He he outruns it literally. <laughs> I mean that that's how fast he is. Although I don't know if he's that fast anymore because you know we'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> um, that was one of the. Things that kind of pissed me off in a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, Top doesn't trust Cecile after what happened last time, but agrees to help. Jessen tells Barry about his dad's death. It was a really good scene between them two. Um, Jessen doesn't want Barry to give up his powers because he knows what it'll do to the world, but at the same time, Barry basically pressures Jefferson to do it based off that oath they made, and he knows what oaths mean to Jefferson and vice versa for Barry. Um, so they Barry made a device to put on black lightning so when he charges up his lightning, his powers, shoot at Barry, it will force the speed force out of Barry. It'll it'll split it away from his cell so he doesn't he's not connected to it anymore. Um and then Black Lightning struck Barry and then it went back to Joe and all that. Um The train that hit Joe was early for the first time in forever. Allegra mentioned a story when she was, like, I don't know how many years ago it was, but however long, yeah, yeah. She'd always go by there, and it would always be late, not early. So this means this was tampered with. Someone altered the timeline. At the time, they didn't know that, but I think we do know now. <laughs> um, it's pretty obvious that someone tampered the timeline, especially with Iris and the train being early for the first time in, like, a billion years. Yeah, no, that that's yeah, <laughs> that's not a coincidence. Um, and then Iris saw something on the like there's like a folder for Joe's death. All the information we're looking up into it, and the, the time sickness stuff came in, and it showed particles on it. Um, but again, I'm glad this is being used for something. I'm glad this is being used towards finding out what really happened to Joe instead of just like you know. <laughs> It, just, it being used for nothing. I'm glad it's being used for something at least. Um, Top and Cecile trying to find uh, Barry using the uh, crown, forgetting the full name, but the crown that Grodd used and that King Shark used in season five. Um, they're using that now to amplify Cecile and Top's powers. Um, they're basically reading every mind in the entire world. I think. They said, so it, that's very, it's a cool thing they're doing, I think. Um, Tom mentioned she moved past Scudder and that she wanted Cecile to move past Joe. That's the only way to work. We know Cecile's powers don't work that way, but it worked a little bit. Not too well, but it worked a little bit <laughs> that she did that. Um, it was mentioned during that scene when Cecile actually found Barry that he still has some of his being left, but it's not, it's very low amounts. 
It's it's not slowly going away, but it, it's he still has speed force in him, but it's not his full speed. He can't use it forever. Um, which again, I get why they did it. I like the writing, but why? <laughs> we finally get a Barry that is fast as hell, and now you're gonna get rid of him. <laughs> like I I don't know what's happened to eight oh three. I don't know what's happened or sorry eight oh four and eight oh five. But, I've been liking this new Barry. I've been liking seeing him do things in under a millisecond. Stopping the Royal Flush Gang. Stopping those trains in 801. Those are really good scenes. And if they're going to take that away in like 804 and say he's slower than ever now. Or at the same speed he was in season 6 before the boost. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we, we've been asking for Barry to go faster than the speed of light, like the comics, forever now. And you're telling me they're just going to rip that all away. <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I'm not hitting on the show. I don't want to hit on the show. But if this is the road they're going to go down, that is really disappointing. <laughs> I, I Again, I get why they did it. But, really? <laughs> They better give him his damn speed back, otherwise they're going to be so pissed off. And I'm going to do a full rant on that, by the way. If Barry doesn't get his full speed back, and he's faster than he was in 801 or 802, I'm going to go on a rant. <laughs> just saying. Um, and then again, I think a lot of us will, so it won't just be me. Um, then we learn that Desperate watches Steel and Team Flash, so when they find him, he will. And, you know, he's going to use their powers to amplify his and all that. Dion slowed down time to meet with Iris at the train station, and she wanted Dion to undo all the treatment that he's been doing for Iris, all the treated time sickness, to actually find something related to Joe, and it's, the particles are temporal isotopes. Those are the particles. Um, Dion mentioned that someone tapped into the negative still force to make Joe die, altering the timeline. This is the first legitimate... Thing that we got related to Jess. Jess? Didn't know Jess was a word. Related to this. Um, Joe's death. Um, so, I saw some people on Twitter saying this. Negative still force. Negative. Thawne. The reason why it didn't click with them right away. Is if you really think about it. From where they're coming at. If you look at the characters themselves. You've got Iris, Dion, Bear, Black Lightning, all of them. They don't know Thawne's going to be in this crossover. <laughs> they don't even know it's a crossover. They just know. <laughs> they don't know what we know. All right. Following the show's writing. Following the show's scripts. They don't know Thawne's going to be here. Obviously, Barry knows now. But he didn't then. So when you hear Nigga Still Force, you shouldn't be thinking, oh my god, it's Thawne. What they're thinking, and it's not bad writing, by the way. It's actually really good writing. What Iris' reaction to it was, was that... When someone interacts with Negative Still Force, it doesn't mean it'd be Thawne. Like, okay, look at Barry and Thawne. Barry is part of the Speed Force. Thawne, Negative Speed Force. Dion, Still Force. Would it make perfect sense for Thawne to be a part of the Still for Negative Still Force? The Negative Strength Force and the Negative... Uh, whatever the other force is? <laughs> It's obviously useless, so I don't remember it. But you get what I mean. <laughs> Those other forces, Thawne's not going to be connected to all of them. If you really think about it, if it's like Barry and Thawne, Dion could have his own Thawne. It'd be someone different with his powers, connected to the Still Force, the negative Still Force. It doesn't mean it'd be Thawne. What I was just reacting to it was, and I know everyone was saying, It's Thawne, it's Thawne, why aren't they saying it's Thawne? It was good writing. And it's because they actually use logic here. They don't know it's Thawne. They don't. But that's the whole scene. And I saw people, some people saying it's stupid. That they should just say it's Thawne. Why didn't I just connect the dots? That's why. You want to connect the dots right away if you were in that same position. You really want it. If you think about it from their point of view, you wouldn't think about it that way. <laughs> um... The particle server turned on to Star Labs. We figured out it was Despero. He appeared to the workers who were tearing down Star Labs from 802, I think it was. Yeah, 802. Where we found out the Star Labs were shutting down. Those people, they were still there uh, shutting everything down. Um, and then Despero, pretty sure, killed them all. <laughs> or, you know, made them fight themselves. We don't know if they really killed them. And then Despero 
um, was moving them like pawns in a game of chess. He was moving the, literally playing a chess game, and every move he's been doing has been a chess game to him, like Thawne playing every move ahead. He, that's what he was doing. Despero stole the power from the accelerator to amplify him, or to power him up. Um, which I'm, I, I kind of like that scene. <laughs> that he's using that. Just, just to know how powerful the park Soder is. I mean, we've known that for the past eight years on the show. And to see him do that, to amplify his powers. I mean, come on. That's kind of cool if you really think about it. But, yeah. Um, so Chester fixed the machines to seal and tap found Barry. Or saw him. They didn't know where he was right away. Um... Uh, Despero attacked Top with his powers, reading her mind, basically like crunching it down a million pieces and reading it. Um, and it nearly killed her. It nearly killed Dylan, Top. Um, and then Despero went after Cecile, and Cecile fought off Despero with her powers. And then shot some laser out of her eyes. I, I didn't, I don't think we knew she could do that, but I guess she can now. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, then we all learned that Barry said the Hall of Justice. Obviously, that's supposed to connect to the seal. So, they found out where Barry is. <laughs> or he found out, I should say. Barry told Black Lightning and Despero about the future. And Justin's trying to convince Barry that he's a hero, not a villain. And then Barry attacked Black Lightning. Now, at this point in time, I thought this was him being taken over. And this was the first time... We actually saw him turning, like, where he's blacking out and he did something he never wanted to do. I thought that's what that was, but I was wrong. It's just Barry being a douche. <laughs> um, you could say that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so he threw a bolt of lightning at Jefferson. He dodged it, and um, Barry's telling Jefferson either he will um, force him to help or he'll do it. The way where Justin actually wants to help. Either he's going to force him or Justin's going to, you know, I'm forgetting the word. But you know what I mean. Either he's going to force him or he's not going to force him. It's going to be one of those situations for Barry. Because he wants his power taken away before the whole world gets destroyed like he did in the future. Um, Barry threw another bolt of lightning at Justin and he grabbed it and threw it back. And there was a cool line there saying that's your lightning so it should belong to you. It's cool that Black Lightning can do that. I mean, we've seen Zoom do that in season two, and that was that kind of brought me back to that. But it's seeing Justin grab Barry's lightning and energy was pretty cool as hell. <laughs> if you didn't think what's going on, what's wrong with you? But you need to fix it. Um, and then Barry ran Black Lightning like a billion times faster around Hall of Justice. And they end up flying into Oliver's memorial case with a suit and bow and quiver and all that. And it's pretty much destroyed now. And <laughs> uh, Justin mentioned Oliver's sacrifice, why he did it. And pretty much why uh, Oliver gave up his life for Barry. is because he's the best of them all. And so... That's yeah, that was a good scene there. <laughs> um And he also mentioned that Oliver wouldn't quit on Barry, so Barry shouldn't quit on himself. Um that's why I ended up appearing through Jefferson across the hall and grabbed Barry by the neck and was basically just choking him to death. Um Jefferson shot lightning at Despo's like third eye in his brain, above his two other eyes, that eye. <laughs> he shot him there. And it actually knocked him down. He was able to contain Despero. In like this little area with lightning surrounding him. Um, Dion and Iris showed up. Um, and which, why didn't Dion slow down time there? Right? I didn't get that. <laughs> why didn't Dion just stop time? Stop this world from moving? You know, you could have done that. I was hoping you would do that. I don't know. Maybe he thought Barry couldn't keep up. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that happened. Barry ran to 2031. He used the Steel Force to help because he wasn't entirely connected to the Speed Force. Um, so he did that. We saw Ryan, Alex, and Ryan Milder, Ryan Choi. <laughs> I put two Ryans in my notes. Ryan Choi, Ryan Milder, and Alex Danvers um, in the future with the rest of Team Flash at some event um, that Iris is holding, apparently. 
And then we see Wells talking to Iris, like, giving a speech. This is a version of Wells. Giving a speech to Team Flash. And then grabbing Iris' hand, pulling up to the front of the stage with everyone. And saying that Iris is the love of his life. In 2031. And then Barry's in the back. Our Barry's in the back. And everyone looks at our Barry and is like, what the hell are you doing here? And the episode ends. I think we know who that Barry is. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think, I think we know who that Barry is. <laughs> um, it, it's not Barry, it's Thawn. And that Wells is Thawn, and he's 100% Barry. Um, pretending to be Barry, I should be saying. So, it's going to connect to 804, which I think we all knew Thawne would be in. And, obviously, Thawne is way faster now, and Barry is way slower. Again, so... <laughs> You're doing really well at 801 and 802 with the speed. And I'm very proud of the riders for that. But now, for the upteenth time, we're going to have Barry get his butt kicked by a speedster who's faster than him. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, hit one down below, Sky, if you're new. Um, I'm going to do a news video tomorrow talking about some news we got on The Flash Season 8. So, I'll see you guys then. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.